The Samyonova turn consists of a double turn in back attitude with the knee of the free leg at horizontal throughout. It was submitted by Russian gymnast Ksenia Semyonova at the 2008 Olympics and given a D rating. It's one of the most beautiful floor turns when properly executed, but it also requires a sharp technique. Few gymnasts have nailed it in competition, and most performances come from Russian athletes, possibly due to their extensive ballet training. The bearar consists of a double turn with the free leg held backward and upward with both hands throughout, and is named after Romania's Yulia Berar, who successfully performed it at the 2018 Youth Olympics qualifying competition. Commonly referred to as a double scorpion turn, it carries a D rating in the current code and requires a good amount of back flexibility. The full scale turn was submitted by Bulgaria's Lainey Madsen at the 2019 World Championships. However, it was given a B rating, therefore it does not carry her name in the code since the minimum difficulty required is C. It consists of a 360 degree turn in forward scale with the free leg above horizontal and is very reminiscent of rhythmic gymnastics. This floor turn is described as a double spin on back in kip position with the hip leg angle closed. It's definitely very different from the style of gymnastics we see nowadays, hence it being so rare. And its rating doesn't help either. It carries a B value regardless if it has two or more rotations. Nonetheless, gymnasts must have a movement close to the floor to avoid a point one deduction, so this skill would actually be perfect for it. The Nguyen consists of a double turn, starting with the free leg at horizontal and lowering to complete the turn in wolf position. Submitted by Vietnamese gymnast Tiana Nguyen in 2018, it was given a C rating by the Federation, which might not encourage many gymnasts to try it. As of 2022, it has only been performed in competition by its creator. The Hopfner Hibs was described as a double illusion turn through standing split and carried a C rating until 2016, when it was removed from the table of elements. However, it's still present in the named after section of the current code, but there's no technical drawing of it. This turn was submitted by Canadian gymnast Elise Hopfner Hibs at the 2007 World Championships, and the code specifically stated the hand must not touch the floor. What's your favorite element off this list?